Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the application Play Cover and the ability to sideload on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Sideloading is the process of running mobile applications on the desktop environment. So one of the big features of the M1 chip is the ability to run mobile applications. For example, I can type in the term Lumia Fusion. I have the option here to search in Mac apps on the Mac App Store, but I can also open this tab here, which is iPhone and iPad apps. And I can also download and run the iPhone or iPad version of Lumia Fusion, the video editor on the desktop environment, even though this particular application wasn't really designed to be used on the macOS operating system. So for example, here we can run LumaFusion, which is a video editing software that's designed for the iPad iPhone, and this runs perfectly well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, there are other games which aren't listed. So if I type in the word Genshin Impact and I do a search on the Mac App Store, it's not available here. It's not available on the iPhone iPad tab here. However, we do know that it is possible to run. It used to be possible to sideload this application. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So this is gonna be an updated tutorial of the one I made a few weeks ago. This is an update to Play Cover. And the very big change that's happened with Play Cover is that we now have the ability to install and run games without permanently disabling system integrity protection. So system integrity protection is a security system on the Mac and it used to be the case that when you run Play Cover then you would have to disable system integrity protection. This would mean that you'd be vulnerable to things like malware or viruses and also it would mean that you couldn't run App Store applications because the Mac operating system would prevent it from happening if you didn't have SIP turned on. However, with the latest update of Play Cover, we no longer have to disable SIP, at least we don't have to on a permanent basis. We have to do as one of these steps in order to install many of the games, but we can turn it back on in order for the game to run. So today I'm gonna to go through some of the updated instructions. In particular, I'm gonna be running the game Genshin Impact. So the very first step is to go to the Play Cover Discord. So the current link to the Discord on the main Play Cover website is actually broken at the moment. So this link is invalid right now. However, if you type in this web address, discord.gg forward slash Play Cover, then you'll be taken to the Play Cover server. So one reason I'm making this video is because Genshin Impact recently released an update which stopped Genshin Impact being sideloaded if SIP was disabled. So this is quite lucky because this coincides with Play Cover enabling the ability to run without SIP being disabled. So the instructions I'm going to be following today are on the Help-1 channel and they're actually pinned here. So there are three methods that I'm going to be following. I'm going to be using method number one. I've actually screenshotted them here so I can show them on the screen. So here we've got screenshots of all the methods. The method I'm going to be following today is called method one. If this fails then you can try method two which is basically to apply apply some of these boot arguments to the terminal. And method three is a kind of a combination of method two and a deletion of certain keychain items, as well as the removal of some hidden settings folders to do a kind of full reset. There's also a flowchart you can follow and this is linked in the Discord page as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to download the games that I want to install. I'm gonna to navigate to the decrypted IPAs channel and I'm gonna to go to Genshin Impact, I'm gonna download this. Press yes and click download. So now that we've downloaded our games, the next step that we need to do is to disable SIP, at least on a temporary basis. We're gonna disable SIP specifically so that we can install the Genshin Impact IPA and then also log into the account. And at that stage, we're gonna restart the computer and then re-enable SIP. So what we need to do is to click on the top left-hand side of the screen, click on shut down, and then we're gonna go through the recovery menu to disable SIP. So the process for disabling SIP is pretty straightforward. Once your MacBook is turned off, I'm going to hold down the power key. So I'm gonna hold this down. When the computer turns back on, it's gonna say continue holding for startup options here. And now it's saying loading startup options. So we're gonna to go to recovery menu. So next we're gonna select options and continue. And then we're gonna log into our main user. So once we're here, go to the top left, click utilities, click on terminal. So we can type in CSR util status see what the status is. System integrity protection is enabled. So what we want to do is to type in the word CSR util space disable. Are we sure we want to do this? Press Y and then return. Then we type in our username and then our password. So when you type in the password, you won't see any letters on the screen, but it's all hidden there, invisible. Then we press return. Now it's complete. It says here, restart the machine for the changes to take effect. We're just going to click on the top left and press restart. So once we've restarted the computer, we're going to go ahead and download Play Cover. So we're going to go to Play Cover server, go to announcements, and then I'm going to download the latest version of Play Cover at the time of recording, which is 0.9.5. Just click on here and download it. Then we're going to go to our finder and go to our downloads folder, and then double click on Play Cover. Here we're going to move Play Cover into the applications folder. And now we're going to run the Play Cover application. We're going to hold down the control key and then click on Play Cover to open up this menu and click open. Here it's asking us to confirm, we're gonna press yes, open. So what we wanna do now is to add an application. We wanna add the Genshin Impact 2.3.0 app that we downloaded earlier, press open here. So now Genshin Impact has installed, it no longer has this download icon next to it. We can now go ahead and open it. So what we're gonna do now is to go ahead and log into our MiHoYo account. So I'm gonna type in my password here. So it's very important at this stage, you do not click tap to begin. If you click on the screen or go any further, it will actually sign you out of the account. We have to repeat that process again. So what we're gonna do now is shut down the computer and re-enable SIP. So once again, while the computer shut down, we hold down the power button here. 
So I'm saying loading startup options. Go to the options menu here, press continue. Next we're gonna log into our account again. Then we're gonna go back to utilities, terminal. Status is that the SIP is disabled. We're gonna type in CSR util enable and return. Press Y and then return. Type in your username, password. And now we can go ahead and restart the computer. Just click here and restart. So I've just restarted the computer and confirmed that SIP has been enabled. What we're gonna do is to log back into PlayCover and open up Genshin Impact again. Once we open up Genshin Impact, we're gonna actually log in this time. So I'm in my account with SIP enabled and I can press start game. So now we can go ahead and click tap to begin. So now you can actually see that I'm back in the game. It is Wednesday the 15th of December and this is all working correctly. I managed to log in just fine using method one. However, if you have an issue, you can always use method two or method three in order to progress to the next stage. So this is all working correctly. If you wanna be able to get the key mapping software working, you just press the control P button and then we have our key maps here. So if you wanna find out how to do key mapping correctly, you can watch my previous video on how to get Genshin Impact key mapping working so they can play with a keyboard or mouse. We can also pair it with a controller as well. So anyway, I hope you found this update tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.